Are shark wheels worth it? I know that's a question everyone has and I'm gonna explain why in this video. My name is Matt Piccarelli, this is Intuitive Review. Reviews from the heart. I'm here to save you time and money. Just picked up the shark wheel DNA. These are the 72 millimeter 78A version. They look funky, they look interesting, they look wavy. I'm liking them. So we're gonna install it on this Scepter 9 longboard that has the waterborne surf adapter on the front and back. And I have very, very old wheels on this thing. So we're gonna install the wheels on this. Let's do it. Install is easy. I'm really liking how it adds color to this board. And if anything, Shark Wheels has word of mouth advertising because I'm sure once I start skating out in the field, people are gonna be asking what these wheels are all about and if they do work. So I'm gonna try these out on as many surfaces as possible. So let's go. Now, my conclusion on the shark wheels, are they worth it? I think they are. I mean, they're pretty cool. Just the look alone is awesome. Anytime I brought them to any sort of area, people are asking me what those wheels were. So as far as like word of mouth goes, I mean, people are curious what these are all about and what they actually do. Now, in a real world, do I recommend them? Yeah, I think they're for a specific user, I think. Um, if you're a longboarder, bombing hills, I think these would be pretty awesome. Uh, they do have a lag to them, so you really have to push harder when you're skating them, whether it's like, you know, you're, you're doing a regular push skateboard, like a longboard, or if you're doing surf skate. So I have it in the surf skate setup, and I mean, you really, really have to push hard. I mean, you already have to push hard with the surf skate adapter, though, so when you add these wheels, there's like extra lag, I guess you'd want to call it, and you just have to, they're not as smooth as regular wheels because of the, you know, the indents that they have on it and stuff like that. But with that being said, if, you know, you're, you know, skating over surfaces that, you know, have maybe have some rocks, pebbles. I mean, this will run right over it. So I tried it out on a tennis court, uh, concrete park, uh, street, and then asphalt. And I mean, it really, really gripped. These things really grip a lot. And even when I was in the street and it was wet, even when I slid out on my on the hard turns, it still held its grip, which is really, really interesting because I'm used, I'm used to uh, boards just slipping out completely and that's really really scary honestly so these really held its own in the water now do I recommend riding in rain and dirt and rocks and pebbles no that's not good for your bearings not good for your skateboard it's not gonna last a long time but you know not not everyone lives in the, in the, in the perfect element so something like these are really really awesome I think they're worth trying out uh, they're definitely heavy duty they're gonna last a long time and I'm definitely happy with them. I think, you know, worst case scenario, you try them out for the 50 bucks that they are. And if you don't like them, they still hold their value because they're very popular right now. So you'd be able to sell them and, and give them to someone else if they're not for you. But I would say, for me personally, I'd keep it on a longboard. I don't know if I'd do a surf skate setup with it, but keep it on a longboard. It's perfect for hills. You get that grip. It can really, really hit those turns hard and not have to worry about anything. Even if there's a little bit of sand on the road, which is always sand on the road. So something like this is definitely helpful for sure. So if you found this video useful, please consider subscribing and liking this channel. And thanks for watching guys.